Kaiser. India's golden athlete, a Jadugar with the javelin, fiercely competitive on the field and a terrific human being off the tracks. His world championship gold and Asiad triumph made a billion Indians beam in pride. Neeraj Chopra, a wizard with the willow, a swashbuckling cricketer and Team India's leading performer in all formats of the game. His 208 in ODIs in January 2023 is the highest individual score by a batsman for the year. Shubman Gill. Indian badminton's most dynamic duo, Sub G, as they're fondly called in the circuit, took India to a famous Thomas Cup win, clinched a maiden Asiad gold, and bagged the coveted number one spot in the year 2023. Sartwik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty. Flamboyant boxer, back-to-back -back world champion and a pugilist who punches much above her weight. She sent the tricolor soaring in the year 2023 with her exploits in the ring. Nikhat Zareen. India's modern-day footballing legend with an unparalleled work ethic. A goal-scoring machine and the heart and soul of the Blue Tigers. India's leading goal scorer. He led India to three big titles in 2023. Sunil Chetri. Incredible achievers, indeed a very tough one to decide. And may I now please invite the one and only Anju Bobby George on the stage who's part of our esteemed jury. Along with her is also CNN News 18's Shivani Gupta on the stage, please. So the award goes to any girls? Any guesses? <laughs> yes, it's Neeraj Chopra. Thank you, Aju, for doing the honors. Uh, you know, one of the things that we love about Neeraj, who won Indian of the Year sports last year, plus Indian of the Year overall, and he was amongst us, you saw that in the AV, is that he's extremely consistent, and he does that by being laser focused on his fitness and on his training. So he's actually currently in South Africa training for a very big year. It's an Olympic year in Paris in 2024. So he sent us this video message from South Africa. Listen in. Sabhi ko namaste. Main Neera Chopra. Aasa karta hoon ki aap sabhi thik honge aur apni saam ko enjoy kar rahe honge. Sabse pehle main dhanyawad karta hoon CNN News ye team ka jinho ne mujhe Indian of the Year award se sammanit kiya. पिछले साल भी मुझे अवार्ड मिला था तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है आप सभी की जब सपोर्ट हमारे साथ होती है हम और ज्यादा मेहनत करेंगे और अपने देश का नाम रोशन करेंगे फिलहाल मैं साउथ अफ्रीका में हूं और अपनी ओलंपिक्स की और बाकी कॉम्पिटिशन्स की यहां पे ट्रेनिंग कर रहा हूं वरना मैं भी आप सभी के बीच में होता पर थैंक यू सो मच आप सभी की सपोर्ट के लिए ऐसे ही आप हमको सपोर्ट करते रहिए हम और ज्यादा मेहनत करेंगे और अपने देश का तिरंगा और ऊपर करेंगे धन्यवाद um, we do have um, a member of Neeraj's family, uh, not men maybe m lots of you know that, you know, he has this large family he has grown up with, with his you know, parents, uncles, and they've all played a role in making Neeraj who he is, this humble boy who doesn't change at all despite soaring successes. So I have Bhim Chopra, Neeraj's uncle, his chacha ji with us. Bhim uncle, please join us on the stage and please accept the trophy on his behalf. Big round of applause, please, for Neera Chopra. I just want to share a few words with you as well. Be uh, Mankal, here come. Jo ek cheez jo humne notice kariye Neeraj ke baare mein, jinhone humne jinhone unko under 20 mein jab unhone world record banaya tha, 
तब से ओलंपिक्स वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप मेडल वो जीते हैं एक चीज जो हम नोटिस करते हैं उनकी कि वो बदले नहीं है बिल्कुल भी इतनी सक्सेस उन्हें मिली है लेकिन वो वही पानीपत के जो लड़के हैं बिल्कुल जमीन से जुड़े हुए ऐसा कैसे रहते हैं वो नीरज पहले तो सभी को नमस्ते और सी न्यूज एटीन का मैं धन्यवाद करता हूँ जूरी टीम अंजू गोभी जी जिसमें हैं सबका मैं थैंक यू बोलता हूँ और रही बात उसकी स्टेबल रहने की एक जगह पर कैसे है वो फैमिली से ही कुछ ऐसा लेके आया है हम अपने बड़ों से लेकर आए थे उसने हमारे से ले लिए तो ये उसके संस्कार हैं और उसकी कड़ी मेहनत है और उसने सफलता को अपने सर पे नहीं चढ़ने दिया ये बहुत अच्छी बात है उसके लिए भी देश के लिए भी जी बिल्कुल ही इज अ रोल मॉडल फॉर एवरीबडी बचपन में नीरज बहुत मोटे थे इसलिए उनको नियर बाय कैंप में ले जाया गया स्टेडियम में ताकि उनका थोड़ा सा वेट लूज हो जाए और उस तब उनकी स्पोर्ट्स जर्नी शुरू हुई थी तो थोड़ा सा वो बचपन में कैसे थे उसके बारे में बताइए ना बचपन में और बच्चों की तरह ही जैसे थोड़ा हमारा ग्रामीण परिवेश है घी दूध का घर में कोई कमी नहीं थी तो खा खा के हो गया मोटा <laughs> उसके बाद फिर हमें लगा यार फैमिली का स्पोर्ट्स का बैकग्राउंड तो था नहीं हमारा पीछे कोई स्पोर्ट्स में था नहीं तो धीरे धीरे हमें लगा कि भाई ये तो ऐसे तो खराब हो जाएगा फिर उसको सारे भाई मिलकर बैठे जॉइंट फैमिली हमारी मैं आपको बता दूं उन्नीस मेंबर है हमारे परिवार में <laughs> तो सभी ने बैठ के फैसला किया कि भाई इसको जिम ज्वाइन करवा देते हैं कम से कम इसका बॉडी तो सेफ में आएगी तो उसको जिम ज्वाइन करवा दी जिम जिम ज्वाइन करवाने के बाद जो टम समय उसका बचता था वो साथ में स्टेडियम था जिम के वो वहां पर स्पेंड करना शुरू कर दिया तो वहां पर उसके दोस्त बने और वो मैं प्रभु की कृपा ही कहूंगा जेवलिन वाले ही दोस्त बने तो उन्होंने इसको जेवलिन पकड़ा दी तो इसने पकड़ के आज तक छोड़ी नहीं है अंजू लास्ट ईयर नीरज चोपड़ा वॉज अवॉर्डेड बिकॉज ही वन ऑफ कोर्स दैट हिस्टोरिक ओलंपिक गोल्ड एंड सिंस देन ही इज वन द हिस्टोरिक वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप गोल्ड अंजू बॉबी जॉर्ज ऑफ कोर्स इज द ओनली अदर इंडियन एथलीट टू विन अ मेडल एट द वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट नीरज सक्सीडिंग यू वेल आई एम एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी दैट नीरज इज गेटिंग दिस अवॉर्ड एंड ही इज सच ए वंडरफुल एथलीट Uh, making us proud every year hmm. last olympics he got a gold and world championship gold and this year 24 again we are expecting another gold yes. <laughs> <laughs> lots of pressure on him but uh, there is no other way to really outline or underline what neeraj has achieved i think you would agree that we never imagined we never believed that we will have an olympic gold in athletics or a world championship gold right we never thought it would happen yes. in our lifetime Correct. Uh, I tried for a goal. You tried <laughs> for a goal. <laughs> you gave your best, but it was a, it's big. No other Indian athlete has ever won an Olympic gold in any athletic track and field event. Nobody has ever won a world championship medal in track and field in athletics. So whatever Neeraj is doing has never been done before for our country of 1.4 billion, and we just hope that it inspires more people to do it. So what is the impact do you think Neeraj has had? See, after Neeraj winning a medal, uh, everybody was searching for javelin, and javelin now it's everybody is enjoying that event and the way how he is throwing, how he is enjoying, and after each throws, and we are waiting for more competitions and more winnings. So that is the way how he is actually supporting athletics, and more athletes are coming to the field, and see even juniors actually they can dream now. See, Neeraj is there to show the path. and at least they are just following yes absolutely i do thank beam chopra neeraj is uncle for being here neeraj of course has sent us that message and for anju bobby george for doing that honor and the winner of the coveted indian of the year sports for a second year running neeraj chopra is joining us live now neeraj first of all olympics ke baad world championship ka jo medal aapne 2023 mein jeeta wo bahut ek special medal tha lekin main aapke shabdon mein janna chahti hu ki world champion banna aapke liye kitna special tha world championship ka medal bahut hi zyada special tha kyunki sabse major title ek wahi bacha hua tha baki sabhi mein gold ho gaya tha to world championship ka wait tha ki ha kuch acha karna hai sabse main baat thi ki jo वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप वाले साल में जो बीच में इंजरी हो गई थी और उससे फिर कम बैक किया और फिर इतने बड़े कंपटीशन में खेला और गोल्ड जीता तो वो सबसे बड़ी बात थी मेरे लिए बिल्कुल गोल्ड तो था ही लेकिन जिस सिचुएशन में मैं खेला और जो 
माइंड सेट था थोड़े दिन पहले और फिर वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप में जीतना तो वो काफी स्पेशल था उससे ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंस भी बढ़ा मेरा और लोग हमेशा आपकी कंसिस्टेंसी की बात करते हैं सबसे ज्यादा जितनी भी सक्सेसेस आपने पाई हैं उसमें आप बहुत कंसिस्टेंट रहे हैं तो हमारे दर्शकों को बताइए कि ये कंसिस्टेंसी का आपका मंत्र क्या है कंसिस्टेंसी के लिए मुझे लगता है कि सबसे पहली बात तो जो है ट्रेनिंग में कंसिस्टेंसी होनी चाहिए अपनी टेक्निक परफेक्ट करो अगर मैं कंपटीशन की बात करूं जब मैं ग्राउंड में होता हूं फील्ड पे होता हूं तो मेरे दिमाग में एक ही बात चलती है क्योंकि कई बार काफी कंपटीशन में मेरी फर्स्ट थ्रो सेकंड थ्रो काफी अच्छी होती है और कई बार अच्छी नहीं होती है तो माइंड में एक ही बात चलती है कि चाहे लास्ट थ्रो तक कुछ भी हो जाए मुझे अपनी थ्रो जो मैंने ऑलरेडी कर रखी है मेरी पर्सनल बेस्ट है उसके आसपास मुझे थ्रो करनी है किसी भी हालत में तो वो बिलीव खुद के ऊपर होता है और वो जब तक लास्ट थ्रो नहीं आ जाती वो खुद पे चाहे कैसा भी मेरा कैसी भी तैयारी है या कैसी बॉडी चल रही है लेकिन फिर भी माइंड काफी पॉजिटिव होता है खुद के ऊपर ट्रस्ट होता है कि नहीं कर लूंगा लास्ट तक एशियन गेम्स में आप जीते ऑफिशियटिंग ट्रबल्स आपको झेलना पड़ा लेकिन फिर भी आप जीते गोल्ड मेडल किशोर जैना भी फेस किए थे इश्यूज आपने एक दूसरे को सपोर्ट किया था कितना स्पेशल था क्योंकि भारत के लिए वन टू फिनिश रहा था एशियन गेम्स में आपकी बार बिल्कुल वो बहुत ही ज्यादा स्पेशल मोमेंट था क्योंकि ऐसे फर्स्ट टाइम हुआ है कि कब इतने बड़े गेम्स में पहली बार ऐसे कोई इंडियन मेरे साथ पोडियम पे खड़ा था तो बहुत ही मजा आया वो देख के और सबसे ज्यादा खुशी की बात यह थी कि थ्रो भी काफी अच्छी लगाई थी जैना ने और पेरिस के लिए क्वालिफाई किया तो दो थ्रो पर्सनल बेस्ट की उस दिन उसने तो वो बहुत ही अच्छी बात थी और बिल्कुल यही आशा करता हूँ कि आने वाले टाइम में दो की जगह हम तीन इंडियन पोडियम पे खड़े हों और जेवलिन ऑलरेडी वर्ल्ड को पता लग ही गया है कि इंडिया काफी अच्छा कर रहा है लेकिन हम चाहते हैं कि और अच्छा पावर हाउस बने जेवलिन इंडिया में जी अब ट्वेंटी में आपके सामने बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है किसी भी टाइटल को डिफेंड करना बहुत मुश्किल होता है तो आप पेरिस ओलंपिक्स में आपके ऊपर दबाव होगा कि आप अपना गोल्ड मेडल डिफेंड करें दोबारा गोल्ड मेडल जीतें कितने कॉन्फिडेंट हैं आप बिल्कुल ओलंपिक जैसे गेम की बात करें तो अपना टाइटल डिफेंड करना बहुत ही बड़ी बात होती है और बहुत ही मेंटली फिजिकली बहुत टफ होकर जाना पड़ता है कॉन्फिडेंस की बात करें तो फिलहाल अभी ट्रेनिंग चल रही है और मेरा फोकस यही रहेगा कि ट्रेनिंग पे जितना ज्यादा कंसंट्रेट कर सकें और ट्रेनिंग में जितने ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंस हो सके कॉन्फिडेंट हो सके वो मैं कोशिश करूंगा क्योंकि अभी से पहले मैं कोई ऐसे सोच के नहीं जाऊंगा कि मुझे पेरिस ओलंपिक्स में ये करना है वो धीरे धीरे करके बिल्डअप होता रहेगा सबसे बड़ा मेरा जो टारगेट है अभी अपने फिटनेस लेवल को अच्छा करना अपनी टेक्निक अच्छी करना पिछले कुछ सालों से जो थोड़ी बहुत कमी लगती है स्ट्रेंथ में या फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी में या टेक्निक में उन चीजों पे काम करना है जो भी चीजें कमजोर थी उनको और ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग करना है तो सबसे बड़ा फोकस ये है और ओलंपिक से पहले मेरा टारगेट ये है कि मैं जो बाकी के कॉम्पिटिशन में पार्ट लूंगा कुछ में डायमंड लीग या कॉन्टिनेंटल टूर गोल्ड में उनमें अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस दू ताकि एक कॉन्फिडेंस और ज्यादा बढ़े और ओलंपिक तक मैं अच्छा रेडी हो सकू फिजिकली और मेंटली वेल वी विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट कंग्रेचुलेशन वंस अगेन टू नियर चोपड़ा फॉर विनिंग Indian of the year sports for a second year running with that let's also turn our attention to the other winner of this category and that was the rising sports star the new category introduced this time around and the winner of that was none other than R Pragyananda who made it to the world chess uh, world cup uh, chess final and with that qualified for the candidates the last indian to do so to make it into the chess world cup final and play in the candidates vishwanathan anand was on hand to give him that award All right so we're here in Chennai to award the CNN News 18 Indian of the Year Rising Sports Star to the one and only Pragnananda and I'm very glad that Vishnath Anand who is a former winner of this award has agreed to do the honors so how does it feel Vishy that your prodigy is winning the same award that you won I think about 10 years ago Yes in fact it's just in the other room so okay. <laughs> <laughs> So it must be particularly satisfying that you know you won it I think in 2012 and now 10 years later your prodigy is winning this, this yes award. it's it's very nice you really feel that the tradition is being carried on and uh, that uh, prag is doing it mm -hmm. uh, really feels like a baton being passed so yes i'm, 
I'm very happy about that. Of course, he's following uh, many of my footsteps. Mm. Candidates is a big thing as well, which uh, is connected. So hopefully, uh, the, the tradition, if you like, continues. How do you see his journey, particularly the year that has been 2023, for which he's won this award? It's been a pretty massive year for him. Definitely. Um, it, it was a slow start. Mm -hmm. And then after May, it's galloping. He's just galloping. I mean, he's performed at such a high level uh, and the whole years, which shows that it's not uh, just a, a blip. It's, it's a very consistent, great performance, qualified for the candidates. Best result in Hungary, best result in Dusseldorf. Just at so many levels, he's playing well. And uh, I think everyone is very excited to see what he'll do this year. Okay. Raghu, how does it feel, as Vishy said, you're following in his footsteps, you're also now winning the award that he won 10 years ago. As he said, he's passing the baton. Yeah, it feels uh, great to hear such words, but yeah, I think I have a lot to improve and um, yeah, a lot to work on and do my best in future tournaments. And yeah, uh, to receive such an award from Anand Sir, um, who I've, I've been looking ever since I started playing chess, is, yeah. A special moment. Can I ask Vishy, uh, what is that one thing that you think makes Prague different or the one thing that you really appreciate about his game or him as a player? Um, on the chessboard, I think uh, he's very broad. He's not uh, focusing only on one or two strengths. He, he works very hard. But it comes back to the uh, other quality, which is uh, dedication. He, he puts in very, very long hours. I mean, it, it's nice to say the second year was great, but it's based on a lot of, you know, midnight oil and all that. Uh, he's a very, very sincere, hard worker. He respects the game of chess, which means that he's in his traditions. He understands that knowledge has to come in a certain way. You study it, you learn. Uh, the respect for the art is uh, his other quality. And uh, what else? Very strong family bond. Yes. Uh, <laughs> It's not, you don't have to have a grandmaster sister, but you know, that's a bonus. <laughs> but you know, his uh, family and uh, they go with him everywhere. His mother's always uh, traveling, so family support system. Just so many building blocks, and I think a great career ahead. All right, Vishy, may I request you to hand over the yeah. CNN News 18 Indian of the Year Rising Sports Star to Pragnana. So Ramesh, first of all, many congratulations for Prague's success. Uh, Vishali has become a grandmaster as well. And of course, you won the Dronacharya Award. It has been a big 2023 for all of you guys. All the three, as you mentioned, uh, Prague got uh, the Arjuna Award in 2022. Yeah. And Vaishali got it uh, yeah. this year. And I got the Dronacharya. Mm -hmm. And also Vaishali qualifying for the candidates along with Prague and also completing the Grandmaster title requirements. It has been an amazing uh, 2023. Could you share a word about Prague and you know what do you think makes him special uh, because it's been a meteoric rise for him? Yes, uh, like uh, every other sportsman, he has also had his uh, share of ups and downs and uh, luckily for us more ups and rather than uh, more downs. And uh, what has been impressive is like uh, he has always uh, managed to keep his composure mm -hmm. and uh, focus on uh, what he has to be doing rather than uh, worry about what went wrong because if we get too much into that it can uh, make us kind of pessimistic and uh, lose self-confidence this never really happens with Prague even uh, under very difficult circumstances he always uh, keeps that self-belief going and he manages to crack jokes uh, and smile even after the painful loss and also extremely hardworking and uh, we can throw any amount of uh, difficulties at him he will uh, never complain and he will never say like I'm tired. Can we postpone the training session after an hour? It has never happened uh, ever. Yeah. So he always uh, very willingly takes that extra pressure on himself and tries to survive under strenuous circumstances, which is extremely important to maybe to proceed at the high level. So you possibly have the best view, ringside view. I want to ask you, what predictions do you make of Prague for 2024? He has obviously the big candidates coming up, but apart from that. What are the predictions you would make for him? Yeah, so personally what uh, I was expecting, like uh, he'll be in a position to fight for the World Championship title in three to five years. Mm -hmm. But uh, what happened is like uh, 2023 had been amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, he qualified for the World Cup Finals, which uh, we never thought would happen. We were not planning for it to happen, but it just happened. Uh, 
basically it happened by him defeating world number two and world number three, Hikaru Nakamura and Fabiano, which was amazing uh, results and uh, never expected. So suddenly he has uh, performed uh, beyond our uh, expectation and uh, risen so his level. So we have to recalibrate our uh, yes. timeline yeah. accordingly. Yes. So we are trying to adapt very quickly because we don't have much time to prepare for the candidates that's going to happen in April in Canada. So we have uh, quickly put together a small team. We have uh, brought in the services of a few other grandmasters as well. So to help in uh, his preparation. And uh, so from now, it's going to be either he's going to be training intensely or uh, compete in uh, tournaments. So uh, the whole world is talking about, uh, you know, your mother quite a bit and you know the care that she takes and she's quite a sensation on the chess circuit. So how does she feel about quite that? Quite a bit, quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. uh, Hello, I'm happy for her, but I mean, she, she's saying she's putting more efforts to take care of us. Okay. And what are your hopes from both Prag and Vaishali? Both are grandmasters and of course, you know, Vaishali is doing very well as well. What are your hopes? from both of you. She's hoping for another good year. This year. Okay. Thank you. Prag, you want to add a word about your support, the support your mother gives you on tours, on events? Yeah, the family support is crucial, I think, in any field. And uh, I think for me, yeah, I've got the best support possible and yeah, they're very supportive. Uh, my mother travels with me to most of the events and yeah, as uh, she mentioned, she takes care of everything except chess. So I can just focus on the game and um, and my sister, yeah, she supports me. Um, we can discuss game anytime, so that's kind of a bonus for both of us. And yeah, my dad also is very supportive. Uh, I couldn't join today, but uh, so very supportive and takes care of everything basically. For both of us, just about chess and we don't have to worry about anything else. You basically, uh, you know, get home-cooked food when you're travelling, which is a big bonus. Yeah, it is. So what do you like to eat? What does she make for you? Rasam, I heard. Yeah, just uh, rice and uh, sambal, South Indian food. Pragananda, tell me, you've had a big, big year, massive year in 2023. What was the biggest learning of the year gone by? I think, um, yeah, the start of the year, not great for me. Mm. Uh, started with well in the first half of work, but then collapsed in the second half. Uh, and then the next tournament in Düsseldorf went okay. I lost the first two games, then I recovered with a win and then solid draws. Um, I think overall, like in the first uh, five, six months, my game quality was good, but the results were not uh, coming the way I was expecting to be. and. Um, but the second half, I had went really well for me. Mm. Uh, starting with Global Chess League, I scored eight and a half by ten, uh, and then I won Budapest event, uh, first first event, and then yeah, World Cup special close and After the first few tournaments, I had uh, one month break where I was trying to work on my weaknesses, and was also trying to work, um, you know, like mentally also, trying to be in a better shape during games. I think it, uh, it worked out well in the second half. I was playing much more uh, confidently and, and trusting my abilities. I think I was, like it all worked out at the end. Mm. Like, uh, my chess skills was also showing. I think. What's the memory of the World Cup? Because that was a very a big highlight of 2023 for you. Yeah, because it's a very very good memory for me. Um, the games there are really good. Uh, and also very interesting, uh, all the games. And yeah, uh, I think best memory would be um, beating uh, Ikaru and then Magnus uh, congratulating me mm. while playing his games. Yes. That photo that went viral where he came and patted your uh, shoulder, what yeah. did he say exactly? Yeah, he, he said that um, my trainer, he was, Ramesh sir, he was mm. uh, giving a lecture in in Magnus's club mm. in Norway at the same time when World Cup was going on and he was saying that, um, I don't know why, but he was saying 
be like Greg and then mm. uh, one of Magnus's friend who attended the lecture was saying this to Magnus and Magnus said that day like I think we all want to be like Greg. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a very special moment. Absolutely. Uh, in an interview, Magnus Carlson said we all want to be like Greg. So, what is it? Uh, what does it mean to be like Greg? Who is Greg? Just a normal kid trying to play chess. <laughs> But I think it's good for the game uh, and good to see so many people you know, recognizing players and I think chess is it shows chess is growing and I'm very happy to see that as a chess player. Okay. Finally, you've got a very big year in 2024 coming up because you've qualified for the candidates which was would have been one of your goals. How are you looking forward to the challenges in 2024? Yeah, honestly, I didn't expect to qualify this year, uh, but yeah, and now now that I have made it, I will definitely give my best. been working hard for it and yeah there are also other tournaments coming up 